Hi there, I'm here with another Valiant Technology Quick Bite. If you're just getting started with Office 365, you'll want to explore using SharePoint for easy collaboration and file storage in the cloud. There are a couple ways to access SharePoint, but we're going to start through the web portal. Open any browser, whatever your preferred is. I usually start at office.com, but once you have SharePoint sites you like, I recommend bookmarking them so you can go directly to them. From here, go down to the SharePoint icon and click. This will show me my frequently visited sites. You can also see sites that I'm following, which you can follow or unfollow with a simple click of the star, as well as featured links. From here, you can also create sites, but that's for another time. To access a site, you can just click on the square. Or if you don't see the site that you want, feel free to type it in the search bar at the top. Once in a SharePoint site, you can see that there are a couple different options on the menu. Most often, I'm going to be using Documents. In Documents, you can see the folders and documents that you have access to. There's a lot more to explore with SharePoint, but since we're just focusing on how to access, I'm going to go on to the second most popular way to access SharePoint, which is straight from your computer's file explorer. In order to view your SharePoint documents in your file explorer, you do need to do one more step in the browser. We're going to sync certain folders to our desktop. While you can sync the entire SharePoint site, we find that when people try and sync everything, it does have a hit to performance. So we recommend only syncing which folders are most important to you, which folders you're going to use on a daily basis. Open the folder that you want to sync, and then right up at the top, click the Sync button. Allow it to open Microsoft OneDrive. You will have had to have installed the OneDrive application before starting. My files synced pretty instantly, and I can now access from the File Explorer. I'm just going to minimize this bring up my file explorer. And right here, you can see this building icon is my SharePoint site. If you have more than one SharePoint site, they'll be listed here. I can just click on the folder and access it in a way that's familiar to me. With this syncing, any changes you make here will be synced up to your cloud folder. And any changes that you make using the cloud applications will be synced back down to here. You can also quickly access some of your SharePoint sites via Teams, but we'll talk about that in another video. For more tips and useful how-tos, subscribe to our YouTube channel or visit us at thevaliantway.com slash KB. Bye-bye.